Hello, Glenn. Hi there. How are you? I'm hanging in there. Yourself? Yeah, fine. When you are ready, I will ask you questions. I'm ready for your questions. Perfect. Hello, Glenn. To begin, I would like to say that I've passed a good moment to watch the new series, Cat People. Please, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your background? Well, I'm Glenn Zipper. I'm the creator and executive producer of Cat People on Netflix, premiering on July 7th. I am a producer of documentaries. I've been doing it for well over 10 years. Uh, and Cat People is the follow-up to our other series, Dogs, on Netflix, which premiered three years ago. And the second season of Dogs will be premiering on the same day as Cat People. In a specific time, how is difficult actually to create a new documentary series? Well, uh, coming out of the pandemic and while we were in the pandemic, it was quite difficult because you're dealing with real people every day and you're having to go into their lives. And anytime you were introducing new people into people's uh, bubbles, uh, you were exposing them potentially to risk. So we had to be very, very careful. We had to follow all the COVID protocols and have the smallest crew crews possible, which sometimes is difficult, but we managed to pull it off. What was the biggest challenge that you have met on the production of the Cat People series? Well, the cats. Yeah. Cats are not always, cats are not always cooperative. A bit easier with dogs. Dogs are always aiming to please us. Cats, it's sort of like getting an actor out of their trailer. They're going to come out when they're ready to come out. So we had to go in and wait for the cats to be ready to be around us. And it required a, a lot more patience than we're usually accustomed to. Which are for you the good ingredients to create a good documentary series as this one? Well, I think it's creating a good documentary series is always about finding characters that you like and that you want to spend time with. Because when you're telling a story, if the people who are telling the story or taking you through the story are people that you don't want to spend time with, it's going to get pretty boring and painful pretty quickly. And then you're going to want to change channel and go to something else. So. The work is really done at the front end before we even roll a frame of footage, which is finding the right people, casting the right people. And I think we did a pretty good job with cat people. Audiences are really gonna love meeting our subjects. What do cats represent for you in general? Well, cats yeah. for many people are mystical creatures. Yeah. They represent a lot more than just their physical embodiment in our world. They're sort of, a, if a cat will accept you, it almost feels like you're being accepted by a greater force. It's a real validation of you and yourself and your life. Um, and also having a cat uh, who is otherwise independent telling you that they want to be part of your life and they want to share their life with you. That's another thing that really feels good to be able to have in your life and to be able to share that with a cat. How were the many people chosen for the six episodes? I'm sorry, what's the question? Uh, sorry, how, uh, how were the many people chosen for the six episodes? How many people were chosen for the six episodes? And uh, how you have chosen them? How do I choose them? Yeah. Got it. Well, again, it goes back to having characters that people are really going to like. And not only just liking these characters, but they have to be going on journeys that are interesting and have a beginning, middle and an end and have a satisfying payoff. So we need to go through hundreds of stories to find the six that we thought audiences would enjoy the most. How will the series Dog help you to find the good approach for cat people? I'm sorry, I couldn't make out that question. How will the series Dog help you to find the good approach to for cat people? Um, I'm not really sure. I think, you know, the, the, the ingredients for making a great documentary series are usually the same. Um, it's about really investing yourself into these stories, uh, making yourself available to be there, to capturing everything that happens, um, and also gaining the trust of your subjects so they let you into their lives. And I think it's the, the approach, the same approach in almost every documentary series that we work on. According to you, how can we explain that cats are so popular on YouTube? 
I think it's because cats tend to do things that are cute and funny in very short bursts. So a cat might um, knock a glass off a table um, because they like to do stuff like that. And if you can capture that on camera, it's pretty funny most of the time, even though somebody's got to clean up the mess, but that only takes three or four seconds. But on social media, people really don't have the attention span for anything more than three or four seconds. So I think that the things that cats do, or sometimes it's just a cat being cute, uh, not just being funny, um, it just seems to happen in a, for, in a shorter time frame that lends itself to success in social media. What should be for you the main duties of a good producer? It's really about coordination, making sure that all the various uh, components of a documentary production are working well together. If there's any one unit of a documentary production team that isn't communicating with another documentary uh, unit of our production, then we could have problems. So it's really about being an air traffic controller and making sure that everybody is in sync. Can we expect a season two of Cats People? Well, that's really up to you and people like you. If everybody watches the show and really enjoys it and spreads the words on social media, I'm sure we will have a season two and I'd be excited to do that. And my last question, which are, for, which are your current projects? And can you talk a little bit about your upcoming series, UFO? UFO, yes. That's a show obviously about UFOs that we produced with J.J. Abrams and Bad Robot. And that's really taking a close look at UFO phenom phenomena over the years and also the recent disclosures about UFOs. It's terribly exciting. Um, I, just watching the, the, the cuts of it as we put it together has made my palms sweat and made me just nervous about what may be coming uh, to our skies in the near future. And that'll be premiering on August 8th on Showtime. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.